Howdy. This is the Gene Machine. Coming at you live from the corner of my room. And hey, if you're new here, welcome. This channel and its content is focused solely on taking a look at mobile game ads that come off as fake, misleading, or just downright terrible. As well, at the end of the video, we go over how to properly report an advertisement if you do, of course, find the ad shown in today's video worthy of being reported. As always, if you enjoy the content that I make, feel free to subscribe. And if you don't enjoy the content I make, well, your choice in the matter was never an option. And yeah, that's the intro. Let's talk about Guns of Glory. Now, if you haven't heard about Guns of Glory, to put it simply, it's another one of those RTS mobile games. You know, the ones that look like Flash games from 2005. Essentially, they're easy to make and easy to monetize games that have just flooded the App Store since the big success of Game of War Fire Age. You know, the one with Kate Uptown. Now, with that being said, there's one thing that all these mobile RTS games have in common. Well, aside from the dull gameplay, the poo-poo visuals, the boring music, the over-sexualized female tutorial characters, uh, uh, where was I going with this again? Oh, right, the ads. All the ads do the same thing, and that's that they try their absolute hardest to show everything but their game in their ads. Back to the topic of this video, Guns of Glory, well, Guns of Glory is no different from this. You won't find any ads from them here on YouTube that show a single bit of real gameplay. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get dressed for the occasion, and let's take a look at the ads, shall we? I might need to loosen up a little bit for this one. Uh, cue the transition, should be somewhere, oh, there it is. Step aside, Pirate Games. Black Flag? <laughs> I never heard of it. Sea of Thieves? Who? Based on this ad, this is clearly the new big pirate game. Except, there's one issue. It's all fake. This is just a video they rendered to mimic a game, hence the stiff movements and why the joystick down at the bottom literally doesn't even line up with the movements of the ship. Actually, taking a closer look, I don't even think the minimap lines up with the map they're on. Also, I know I'm nitpicking at this point, but the leveling system just... Jaced. <laughs> also, I know I'm nitpicking at this point, but the leveling system just makes zero sense whatsoever. How does he beat a ship his own level and only go up five levels, but when he knocks down two ships that are now below his own level, he shoots up 30 levels? I mean, actually, logically speaking, I get that they're following the lazy Mafia City style of leveling, but the ad implies that the first level 15 ship gives him no XP, but the second level 15 ship alone gives him 30 whole ass levels. The second ad is no better also. First off, the UI is completely different in this one, which shows the incompetence of the marketing team, and now you have quick time events instead of the former layout, and now the leveling system is even more janked. The amount of levels that dude just got for beating that ship was... 69. I can't help but point out, this is like a pirate ship game on some Dragon Ball Z level shit. I mean, come on, look at how fast this guy is moving. Of course, don't let this distract you from the fact that the actual pirate ship gameplay in Guns of Glory is, well, well, take a look. Boo, you stink! While I only have two new ads here to show you today, don't forget some of the other wondrous ads this game has produced, including bangers like this thing, which at first I actually found kind of funny, until I realized that they just took this from a PUBG animation here on YouTube. They have wonderful ads such as this one where they use Naruto references with the audio ripped straight from the show and everything. And that's only scratching the surface of how many ads this game has produced. So now comes the question, why did they do it? Why did the company behind this game and or the ad agency they hired opt to create advertisements like this rather than ads showing what the game is like? Well, to put it simply, their game is boring. <laughs> it sucks. You know it, I know it, and funny enough, even they know it. That's what happens when you make a game like this. 
You don't make it with the intentions of having some kind of exhilarating gameplay that'll blow away expectations. They just make a quick and easy game and monetize the hell out of it so that people who will play it and spend money on the game regardless will pay for their bills. That's why they go for the fake ads. Nobody's gonna download their game if they see the actual gameplay in YouTube ads. Even the people who are playing the game knows that right now. So, essentially, by baiting everyone into downloading the game, not only does their game have a bigger download count, which in turn makes the game seem like it has a bigger player base, but it also lures in that small minority of players who will just keep playing the game regardless of whether they enjoy it or not. Believe it or not, there are actually people out there who exist. Of course, if you feel that these ads are worthy of being reported, you can follow the link in the description down below, where you'll be taken to a Google report site. There you can directly report these videos as ads, which is what YouTube recommends. Of course, you'll need to provide the links of these videos, so I'll have the links to the source ads in the description as well. And yeah, that's about it. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at GeneMachine99, join the Discord, and as always, feel free to subscribe. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay real.